Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. We will take a look at some orchid blooms in this video. Winter was quite mild over this part of the world, but um, the start of spring is not being pleasant with constant rain, sandy storms and cooler temperatures. It is quite interesting to notice that for the orchids wintering indoors, I'm using my spider farm grow lights a lot longer than uh, throughout the, the shorter days of winter. Electricity being so expensive in this part of the world, I simply cannot have them um, on all day long, despite the dull days. So I can notice that uh, new growths and roots are not uh, developing as fast as they should. And overall, orchids are even slower than they usually are. Hopefully, April will bring back the sunny days and um, the orchids will make up for the lost time. For the time being, let's take a look at some blooms indoors and also outdoors. Some of them are new, others are still holding on quite well. A few days ago, we talked about the large big vandas in a Care Collab video. There is not much change with mine. This one is still holding on. The spike on the other one is growing super slowly. In addition to that video, this is one of those vandacious hybrids that keep a smaller growth. There are several hybrids in the market and they are beautiful and space savers. This one is a cross of Nilfanetia falcata with the Rhynchostylus gigantea. This vandacious regularly blooms for me this time of the year. These blooms are mostly white, like the Nilfanetia with some brush strokes of pink from the Rinko Stylus. These blooms are also fragrant. During winter, this plant seems to be dormant, then it blooms in early spring, and only after that, the root uh, growth restarts. This one here is my Lelia Cattleya Santa Barbara Sunset, uh, which is a cross of Lelia Anceps. This is a vigorous grower, with fat pseudobulbs and uh, it has the advantage of growing outdoors all throughout the winter. Only recently I brought it indoors when the buds opened. This spike took a long time to develop. It started in August and it's quite long. So this orchid was uh, outdoors all through the formation of the uh, a spike and buds and only when the buds open I brought it in so that I can enjoy them. This is quite a long spike, 60 centimeters long. I must say I'm not a particular fan of uh, long spikes but um, this orchid is quite worthwhile. The blooms are gorgeous, the colors are so attractive. I had one bloom the first year I bought it, then two blooms last year and this year I have three. Very pleased with it. Uh, these blooms are not fragrant but they are quite beautiful and I really enjoy looking at them. This is one of my latest purchases, Sidiri Japonica, uh, which is now included in the Phalaenopsis genus. It already came with this spike and in the meantime the buds are opening. The blooms are not entirely open, but already we can see how beautiful they are. They are fragrant and the fragrance is very, very pleasant. Over this side, uh, let's take a look at my Paphia Pedalum Delanati. The spike is growing and uh, we already can see that there are two buds forming. Here the Rinko Stylus Gigantia, still in bloom. The blooms are still casting their perfume, which is uh, uh, anyway not as intense as it used to be. The flowers are still quite nice, absolutely long lasting as this started late January. And now I'm taking you outdoors. For those who watched my previous video, just a glimpse of my bird bath and the new strawberry pots. 
This may be the last look at some of my cymbidium blooms. This one did great. Look how many spikes it has. Most uh, flowers are getting spent, but still quite beautiful. This one is the one with orange blooms. It had two beautiful spikes, but that was long ago. And it's now growing a late spike. You haven't seen this one yet this, this year. The blooms opened just recently. Uh, three spikes. They are different from my other cymbidium. This plant uh, came last year and um, it has semi-pendant spikes. This uh, was my newest cymbidium, the only one I bought this year. And um, you have seen it already. It uh, is in need of a repot. And uh, I'm just waiting for the end of blooming and then we will repot it together. Let's now go under the smaller porch and take a look at my dendrobium in bloom at the moment. Berioda here is still at it and smelling amazingly. And um, the fact is that the uh, scent is getting stronger as the uh, flowers mature. And also here Dendrobium kingianum, the blooms are holding on forever. <laughs> they are uh, quite uh, fragrant too and um, they smell like honey and the scent is very intense. You had already seen both of them, but this one here you hadn't seen yet. Uh, this is a species Dendrobium nobile, the variety Coxonianum. It is blooming for the first time for me. I have it for one year. I bought it uh, March of 2021. I'm very pleased with it. I never thought it would bloom so well. As they say, species Dendrobium nobile are so very difficult to bloom. The flowers are gorgeous and they are fragrant too. Although these plants are protected here under this porch, the leaves are very dusty. That is a, a trace, still a trace of the sands the south wind brought from the Sahara Desert. I did not have the time to clean them yet. At the same time, it's also growing two new growths, which is good. All in all, I'm quite happy with all my nobili, including the hybrids. Even those that were recovering are blooming already. Let's take a look. They are all quite beautiful. They all have new growth starting, which is wonderful. A great promise for a good blooming next year. have plenty of nobili hybrids but uh, I would love to have a salmon or orange one and um, maybe I will have to wait <laughs> they are not easy to come by
My zygopetalum here, zygopetalum drowsy blue, has another spike. Soon we will have new blooms. I was quite surprised to see this new spike because this plant already bloomed uh, this year, recently in January. These are my other dendrobium, still on this uh, outer side of the rack for the time being. Some of them are starting to get uh, spikes, others not as uh, well as I hoped for, but we will see those later. We will have to wait and see what they do. And uh, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll be back soon with another video.